Recently released on console, Pillars of Eternity 2 Deadfire is a swashbuckling RPG featuring 11 combat classes, each with unique abilities that define your character's role in battle. Whether you prefer a defensive powerhouse or a damage-dealing spellcaster, here's a new player's guide to choosing a class. There are two main options. Build a single-class character and commit to mastering a single combat role, or opt for a multi-class character and become proficient at two. There are pros and cons to both. A single-class character can develop their abilities to the highest standard, but their skills are limited to that role. A multi-class character can learn skills from two classes, those of a wizard and a barbarian for example, but take longer to obtain more powerful abilities and have no access to the highest level skills at all. There are four combat roles in the game. Strikers inflict high damage or status effects on individual targets. Support classes heal or buff allies. Defenders are built to resist damage. And finally, crowd control classes are designed to weaken large groups of enemies simultaneously. With the exception of the rogue and the priest, each class is tailored for one or two combat roles, with a minor capacity to play others. For instance, a druid's main combat role is crowd control, but they also have the capacity to play as a support or a striker depending on the abilities and attributes you give them. So if you're torn between two roles, consider a class that has the versatility to do a bit of both. Rogue, Monk and Ranger are the best classes to choose if you want to play as a hard-hitting striker. Rogues are brutal and stealthy killers, capable of wielding a variety of weapons from clubs to a pair of daggers, while Monks are bare fist fighters capable of special attacks that deal crippling status effects. The Ranger specialises in long-range weapons like bows and firearms, and can call upon beasts to attack foes. Wizards, Druids, Fighters and Cyphers also have the capacity to play the striker role. Chanter, Paladin and Priest are the best bet when it comes to support. Chanters use incantations to grant combat bonuses to allies in a designated area, while Paladins inspire party members using abilities that can stave off fatigue and even death. Priests use prayers to cast healing spells and bestow blessings that buff teammates. The best defender class is the Fighter, who is skilled in a variety of weapons and can take a lot of punishment. Paladins, Rangers, Monks and Barbarians also make good defenders thanks to their tough stats. Monks even have an ability that lets them absorb incoming damage and use it to increase the power of their weaponry. Wizards, Druids, Chanters, Barbarians and Cyphers are all great at crowd control. Barbarians use offensive melee to slice through large groups of enemies, while Wizards rely on spellcasting to damage multiple targets. Chanters have access to extremely powerful magic and summoning spells through their incantations, while Cyphers possess extraordinary mental abilities to damage the opposition. Druids use offensive spells that take the form of natural phenomena, such as thunderstorms, and can even transform themselves into mythical beasts. You'll encounter companions throughout the game, each with their own motives and backstory, or adventurers for hire who travel and fight alongside you. Building a well-balanced party of five is key to surviving tough battles. Include a couple of defenders to protect the more frail party members, and a support character to heal and buff when needed. The remaining two roles should be either strikers or crowd control, and it's worth having at least one long-range damage dealer to chip away at the enemy from a distance. Aloth or Seraphen are good choices for an offensive spellcaster, while Adair and Maya serve as good defenders or strikers, with Maya having the long-distance advantage of the Ranger class. Jyoti and Palagina, a priest and a paladin respectively, are great support options. Pillars of Eternity 2 Deadfire is out now on PC, Xbox One and PS4. If you're new to the series, watch our 9 things you need to know about the game here on IGN.